Harris County Sheriff's Office says there has been eight in custody deaths so far this year. Uh, today we learned about the two most recent deaths. Both inmates died last week after being hospitalized with pre-existing medical conditions. KPRC 2's Rochelle Turner has been following the recent jail deaths and joins us live from the facility downtown. And Rochelle, have you spoken to the inmates' families? Daniela Keith, I spoke to Ray Rattler's family over the phone who asked for privacy. The attorney representing Eric Cano was relieved that he passed away because he said he won't have to suffer anymore. The Texas Jailhouse Project wasn't surprised about their deaths. This has become a pattern. It's a systematic pattern of neglect. That's the response from Krish Gundu after learning two inmates died last week after being hospitalized with pre-existing medical conditions. It's just absolutely unacceptable, and we keep just we just keep hearing about this. 56-year-old Ray Radler was booked into the jail last month on a charge of aggravated robbery with a deadly weapon. Radler was taken to Bentop Hospital last week due to his deteriorating health. He died on June 17th. 40-year-old Eric Cano died on June 16th. He was charged with murder and booked into the jail last July. He was receiving treatment for a terminal illness. Today, I spoke to his attorney, Paul Looney. He should have not ever been in the jail. He made bond when he got arrested. Unlike the people that you see on the news, he was perfect while on bond. He had no violations. Back in May, KPRC spoke to Connell's attorney, who argued he should be released to die at home in hospice care because he had a failing liver. It, it, attorney Looney cool. said he was relieved to hear he passed away. He was suffering so much. At the end of life, you know, it's kind of, you hate to say goodbye, but it's also a relief that their suffering is over and his was extreme. So far this year, there has been eight in custody deaths, including Jacoby Pillow, Jarkees Simmons, Matthew Shelton, and Robert Terry. And throughout the day, I tried to reach out to Sheriff Ed Gonzalez to talk about these recent deaths. He has not returned my phone calls or emails. Tomorrow, several community activists will be holding a press conference to address the jail conditions and recent deaths. Uh, Eric Connie's uh, death and Ray Radler's death will be investigated by the Texas Rangers. Reporting live from the Harris County Jail, I'm Rochelle Turner, KPRC 2 News. Rochelle, thank you.